Joining us now with the latest is NBC's Liz Kreutz, live from L.A. Liz, before we get to the latest on the storm, we're actually getting reports of an earthquake in Southern California. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, Alicia, it's pretty wild. While we're in the midst of this storm right now, just about 20 minutes ago here in Los Angeles, we felt an earthquake. According to the USGS, preliminary information is that this was a 5.1 quake. The epicenter was just north of Los Angeles County in Ojai, which is in Ventura County. And we felt it pretty strong here in Los Angeles. And you can see behind us here, we are dealing with this storm. This is the L.A. River, which just in the past few hours has risen drastically. 24 million people are under flood watches and warnings across the southwest right now. Here there is a flood watch in Los Angeles County. Parts of the coast like Santa Monica are dealing with this as well as inland areas. We've already heard about reports of flooding in isolated areas on roadways, of downed trees, of a small mudslide, of a rock slide as well. And this is just the beginning of the storm. The center of the storm is still in the north part of the Baja Peninsula. It is marching towards southern California. We're just getting the outer bands of it right now, and we're already feeling the impacts, Alicia. And Liz, your, your sense as you talk to residents there, are people taking the threat of flash floods seriously? Yeah, you know what? People are. This is not something that anybody in Southern California would ever expect for August in Southern California. And people haven't really dealt with this before. But that said, people have dealt with other natural disasters like earthquakes, like we just felt that something really common here and wildfires. So people do take this type of thing seriously. And yesterday, a lot of folks uh, made a run for the grocery store. They were stockpiling on water and flashlights and toilet paper. And so people do seem to have heeded these warnings. They're hunkering down even on the roads it does seem like there's less people out and about so people are taking this seriously. Liz Kreutz for us in Los Angeles. Liz thank you.